welcome back to Cowabunga Corner. In this episode, we are talking about another artsy project. Yes! Artwork! Awesome! Artwork is the key source behind the Ninja Turtles to begin with. So, of course we gotta review art planks. Eastman and Laird only got in the comics because they were both loved drawing. They took art schools and everything. They were doing their comic stuff because artwork was behind it. And what better way than to encourage our young with awesome things that definitely inspire imagination. This is the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Activity Kits. And uh, I'm not reading the other language because four magic paint posters. Two color-ups, one paintbrush, four markers. Let's find out what a magic paint thing can do. So I'm looking in here, and they have the top kind of glued shut instead of tape. Since I was not expecting that, we are going to just kind of cut through the glue here. Ah, that did not even work. Hopefully, I broke through. A lot of work just to get into an art activity set. You just see how much that's ripped pulling this out. And I like to try and preserve my boxes, so that was kind of disappointing. Oh, those are so cute. Tiny markers. Tiny markers. Okay. Here's the pinups. And here are the magic paint posters. And here's the markers. I'm assuming for the magic paint posters, you just need water. That's what it looks like. Markers, uh, yeah, just need water. Here's your paint. And it's Donnie, so you'd use purple, and you'd go over on the mask, and then you use green on the toes and the ankle, and right in there, and there, and there, and there. You guys don't want to see me pretend to do this, so let's, uh, let's do some art. First, I will attack one of the ninjas in training. Let's see. Whew. This is one of the ones that I do a lot of images in the house of. I like that one. But wait, there's a problem. They gave me only four markers. They cut Michelangelo out of the marker colors. We have red, purple, green, and blue. Someone tell me that's just not right. I like coloring Mikey too. And they have yellow plastrons and they have shells and they have knee pads and belts. And ninjas and training needs to be in different colors. Oh. You can't color it right with that. But the paint it almost looks like you have two reds. I can't tell which one's orange. I'm guessing that one's supposed to be orange. Hard to tell. And then we have a very dark purple, blue, green, and yellow. So you have most of the colors to color a turtle. They all have the same colors, and they all have... their own backgrounds and it's just one of each turtle. Of course me I'm going to do Mikey and because well one time <laughs> because time is not always on our side we are only doing one items needed for doing the one piece of art we're doing. One the piece of art. Two the water and three the paintbrush. We are not doing the marker set. Markers is easy. I've already colored in markers for everyone. The very awesome Crayola set of markers. So we are going to play around with this paint and see how well it works. First, you choose your color. 
I'm starting with green. I'm going to get Mikey's armpit in there. Comes out very, very vibrant. It's a kid set, so you don't expect them to have everything in it. It was also one of those cheap sets that you find somewhere and think, oh, this is just something fun to do. The big question is, how many people like to do these type of things? If you were an adult, which I am, would you do it or would you think this is too kitty? I'm doing it. I probably wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't doing this for camera. It would most likely be one of those things where I'd only buy one of and keep it in package to say, oh, it's a museum piece. But because uh, we are doing this for um, everyone to see if the products work and have fun with it, I am doing it on camera. Now I'm noticing that the initial Mikey that I painted, the arm up in the foreground, came out very bold, very uh, very thick with the green. But as we go and we're using the green up on the brush even, it's coming out very light. Of course, if you're creative and have a lot of time and want to teach kids color schemes, you can kind of mix your own colors. Mikey usually has more of a yellow tint to his green. And since there's yellow here, if you've got a little bit of tin foil or something, you could combine the yellow and the green into one color and try to make Mikey's green. Just to keep it more true to who he is and be more accurate. Or you can just have fun with it and paint it as they uh, intend for it to be painted. They also have it so you can cut the paints off, which is probably what they expect people to do. Because they want people to hang these as little pinups. Awesome little posters that have their uh, magic paint. Is it magic? No, just thin layer of paint that's water based. Gonna add a little bit more green to that leg. There's the green, all done. Oh, yes, I could probably, you know, go with a. Uh, trying to darken in some of the other areas, but once again, I am going for the play. Now, I do think that this is the orange, so I am attempting to turn this into my orange. There is a slight tint different when you get it in different lights, and that's what makes me think. And I'm right, it is orange, and you only need their bandana color for the face mask in this series. You don't need it for their uh, belts or anything, because they're all brown. But we don't have brown! So what do you do? I've already finished with the orange, so I could easily do this, and this, and this, and this. Add a little bit of water to both, there. And I'm trying to make a brown. Let's see if it comes out. No. It's a reddish color. It's got a little bit of a brown to it. I don't have grays or anything for the, the arm pads, so I just made them brown or reddish brown. Might throw a little bit of yellow over that to try and make it look a little more brown, but first we're going to use our yellow for the plastron. The nice thing about paints is if they don't supply a color, you can normally make the color that you want. You, you can turn it into the color if you don't need those colors anymore. Or if you have a different testing strip. For me, I did not have a different testing strip. I just did not need orange anymore. Now I don't need yellow anymore, so I'm going to throw some of the yellow in with this. And then for shell, I'm going to take a little bit of blue and put it into that green. That makes it a slightly different color. Green could use a little bit more yellow, actually. There we go. It's coming along. He's almost done as well as done as I can really make him. We have colors dripping because of the way I'm doing this. But I kind of need some red for the tongue. Make his tongue nice and pink. Now you could try and use orange here for Mikey. Of course, I kind of messed up my orange. So we're messing with different colors in Mikey's name. 
it doesn't feel like there's enough paint to finish what you're doing. Oh, if I want red bricks, I can kind of highlight it a little bit with this. Not make it dark red, just put a lot of water in there. Let it drizzle down. It's like, you can't get any more color out of this paint strip. You've already used it up. A faint red in the background. You know, I'm going to make Mikey's name more purple just to uh, do something a little different. you got the power of creativity here. Mikey's the orange turtle, but purple's the only color not really tapped into yet. This way, everyone gets to see the different colors that they have provided us with. Of course, I'm getting a lot of water into my paints and messing up a lot. It's still fun. Get what we can from here to color his chucks. And I still think I'd love to just douse this. Maybe mix these. That might get me a little bit more of a play on the red. Give us some more bricks. When this decides that you can't take any more of a color, they really try to force that onto their, their rule of thumb. You're, you're out of that color. It's like a dry sheet, almost. And I'm trying to give us some watered down backgrounds and they're just like, no. If you apply enough water, it will bring up more paint. Oh, and the paint does come through on the back. So now we have our Fastly painted upside down Mikey from this cute little activity set. Again, it's a cheap activity set. It's not like the most expensive thing on the market. I think I paid only a dollar or two for this. Um, really, I don't even remember which store I got it at. I think I grabbed this at a dollar store. Uh, dollar General. They had a handful of other turtle stuff and they had these and I grabbed them. Um... And uh, this is made by Conforms to ASTM Marketers Made in China. SavvyStuff.com S-A-V-V-I-S-T-U-F-F.com Savvy, Arizona. So this is Savvy. That's who makes it. Uh, I, I, I was confused with the conform part right there in the normal legal area. Of course, they have Nick.com on here. It is a 2013 product. Uh, it's something fun for turtle fans to play around with. It's artsy. If you're trying to get a kid into art or if a kid loves art and wants something to just paint and goof off with, there's paint and all you need to do is supply the water. Uh, they can't really make too huge of a mess because these paints wear out very fast. So if you got them at the table and you're watching over, it shouldn't be a big deal. And if they like markers, make sure you get the other colors so you can actually color it correctly. Because uh, I'm staring at it going, Mikey needs an orange bandana. And their plastrons are showing and their belts are showing. And four markers just won't do this justice. I think it's awesome looking image. It's kind of on a cardboard backing. So it could be used for a bit with decoration. It's an easy stand up on its own thing. It doesn't need to be pin to anything. So that's your other image there. A fun set. I give it a thumbs up and I hope that you guys enjoyed my fast painting of Michelangelo. We will catch you next time on Cowabunga Corner Reviews.